she was basically lifeless. You could barely see her breathing. Sweet baby. I walked in and saw the tiniest little pig I've ever seen. She had fallen off the truck and was running down the highway. By the time I got home, I walked in the door and said, this pig can never leave here. All of a sudden, this explosive little personality comes out. Hour by hour, you could see a difference in her as she felt better. She starts running and doing zoomies and being this just little ball of chaos. I'm a large man in a small chair and there's not room for me and a hundred pound pig. It kind of just became a routine. She would just immediately expect that it was time to snuggle in the lap. She put herself here. I think somebody's missing being a little baby. She's very particular. particular in her routine and in her ways she likes things done. She sleeps with probably a dozen blankets. It's quite the mound when she is in there. She looks like a pile of laundry laying on the floor until she stands up. morning and then runs around and they all stay on her they don't fall off where's Althea? there she is hey big girl guess what you have some visitors coming today what do you think about that you got visitors coming are you looking for them are you watching out for them Althea. we don't have friends or family near us so she was so excited she almost took my buddy andrew to the ground this was definitely their first time encountering a pig like Althea. She immediately had them under her spell. <laughs> and next thing you know, you look over and she's literally just leading them around the sanctuary. She gave them the whole tour. She's bringing everybody to see all the other pigs and the horses. No matter what has happened in the past, and no matter what may happen in the future, to just be that innocent, joyful, playful, live in the moment person. That's who she is, and that is who she teaches us to be.